Good day everyone! Welcome to another Lexus World! There was such a massive and positive response to my video on passing a THC urine test back in the day that I figured I should probably do a video on passing a saliva test when it comes to THC. Lots of good employees out there are still losing jobs just because they smoke weed on their day off and because of saliva tests, which isn't right. So until employers stop using tests like this to target cannabis completely, there need to be ways to fight them. Saliva swab tests are gaining popularity, that's the first thing to know about them, especially in heavy labor industries. A saliva test can be administered on the spot and at a very low cost. They have a couple of weaknesses though in exchange for those low costs. A. They give a lot of false negatives which is good for the person undergoing the test. And B, saliva tests are only effective for spotting cannabis use for a short period of time, only 12 to 24 hours after last use. It can be several hours more or less depending on the person, but 12 to 24 hours is the normal detection range. It's too bad, eh? If it was one to two hours, that may actually be a fair and reasonable test to filter out bad employees who are high on the job. Anyway, use that relatively short time frame of 12 to 24 hours to your advantage, especially if you get two days off in a row. There's also things you can do that can cut the 12 to 24 hours down even further, such as drinking water, brushing your teeth, using mouthwash, or gurgling a very low concentration hydrogen peroxide solution. Isn't it cool how hydrogen peroxide is awesome for everything? Um, doing any of these in the hours prior to the test helps. These methods can't outright trick the test, but they can make the time frame of detection shorter. And I'll link to some H2O2 in the description for you guys. Those are the confirmed methods. There's some myths out there that just don't work at all, and when they do, it's actually just a fluke or one of the false negatives. The biggest of these myths is sucking on a penny. It's a myth that originally started for breathalyzer tests, and it doesn't even work there. Um, also, just like with the urine tests, I wouldn't buy detox kits for saliva tests. They're about as effective as the hydrogen peroxide solution, but for five times the cost. Anyway, that's the show, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now you know the ins and outs of saliva tests. If uh, you enjoyed the show, be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. See ya.